In this video, we will cover setting up your Zotero Cloud account so that you can use your Zotero account on multiple devices and share it with group members or project members. To start things off, you will need to create a Zotero account. And to do so, go to Zotero.org. And at the top right, it says Login. At this point, if you do not have an account, you can create one for free at the very top where it says register for a free account. It is recommended that you use a non-PACE email so that when you complete the program at PACE, you will still retain access to your Zotero account. So once your account has been created and you have logged in, at, at the top of the screen in the web browser, you'll see a groups tab. So if you click on that, you will give you, you'll be started off with two options. One is to search for groups, and that is to join any publicly accessible group. The other option is to create a new group. So if you want to share any references with another group member, this is where you would do that. You can create a group. And you have three options, public open and public closed and private. For public open, anyone can search your for your group online and join it without any issues. For public closed, anyone can find your group by searching for it, but they must apply to join. And then for private, which is recommended uh, at this level is your group is not searchable and you can only be invited to that group. So once you create your group, you'll be given several options regarding the permissions of it. Uh, the ones that I want to point out really, it's library editing. Do you want your group members to be edit the contents of your library? Yes or no? If not, then you would select only group admins. And this is ideal if you are a faculty member or a project leader and you want to share it with new members. But if not, you can leave it as any group members can make changes to the library. And the same applies for file editing, if any files are going to be uploaded. Once you're done, you click Save. And if you want to invite new members, you go to Member Settings. And then Send More Invitations. And you can just type in the various email addresses or Zotero usernames for the group members. So once the account has been created, you can go back to your Zotero application. And at the top left where it says edit, go to preferences. I'm going to start you off in general. Make sure you go to the sync tab and type in your username and password for your Zotero account. Make sure to check all of these boxes when they are applicable, especially the ones pertaining to groups. If you're going to, if you're planning on sharing any parts of your library with group members, once you're all done, just click OK. And then at the top right, you'll see this tiny green circle. It's very easy to miss. If you click on that, it's going to sync your Zotero library. Now at this point, I've removed some groups from my online account that has not yet been, and this update has not yet been reflected in my main account. So I will click remove groups because I don't want them anymore. And now paste library test from the group that I created earlier is now available on my desktop app. So if I want to, I can drag and drop several references and share it with Pace Library Test and anyone I add to Pace Library Test. And if I want to access this for multiple devices, I would just sign in to my Zotero account on the Zotero app from that new computer and sync it and all the devices with the same Zotero login will have the same access to the references.